To our megaphone sits it just popped to one percent, two percent, but it's been sitting at zero percent. For uh, who's to blame for this one? The kicking team. Uh, as you might as you might know, anybody out there who watched, the the game came down to a kicking play. And as we, we can see here, uh, how this played out, I'm not sure how well it'll show up on our, our TV. But this is the snap infraction followed by the next step that was not a snap infraction. A lot of people talking about this last night on the web. We had experts coming in, this pro football talk. Just watch a few of his snaps in recent weeks. You don't even have to watch recent weeks. You can watch literally his snaps. Back to back. From last right? night, back to back. <laughs> Moves the ball a lot. Nothing out of the ordinary here, uh, yet it was flagged. Here's an ESPN guy also saying no quick movement. Uh, interested to hear the explanation. The explanation from the NFL officiating crew was the illegal ball movement by the center in Dallas versus Washington causes the defense to come across the neutral zone and contact a Alignment. So, and they post. What I'm going to say, what I'm going to say, guys, in this situation is, I, I would be willing to bet you a lot of money that the Redskins coaches have seen this twice a year for the last six or seven years, and when they do that six or seven years in a row, twice a year, Joe, I'm saying that the special teams coach has seen that, and they alerted the officials going into the football game. You know what? Watch for this. He messes with the football. You know what? It causes us to be on edge, especially in crucial situations. If he starts fooling with that football, yeah, he probably does it all the time. But I, they alerted them. I'll guarantee you they alerted the officials to look for that. And you know what? They got the call right there. A Bobby Knight thing. Good for them for working the officials. Yeah, and they've come out and they've said that, right? Jay Gruden saw it on film. And good for them. Like you said, their coaching staff was prepared. But it's one of those things, right? you got to feel bad for L. P. Latasur. He's been doing this the same way for 14 years. This guy is as consistent and as good a long snapper as there is in the entire NFL. And he gets he gets hit for something that he's been doing for that long. I can't blame him. Right. But I can't say kudos uh, to the Washington coaching staff for seeing something that they could exploit. And in that game winning moment, it worked for him. And it goes the other way for the Cowboys. Tony Dungy, though, I mean, there have been a lot of big time heavyweight NFL types who have come out and they've called out uh, the officials for it. Because as we as we saw, it was the exact same movement on the snap where they call the infraction. And then the next snap right afterward when he dunked the field goal, exact same process that LP Latticeur used. So Tony says the fa false start, a legal snap penalty called on the Cowboys long snapper that moved the kick back to the 52 yarder was horrible. He says horrible, right? The snapper followed the same routine and did nothing to draw the Redskins off sides. We looked at it over and over again, and I don't see how they could have called that. Well, coach explained how they could have called that. They got tipped off. My favorite thing about that tweet, Joe, is uh, Brooke Lannister, uh, LP's wife. She replied, said, thank you. I'll send it to him. I, I think LP <laughs> might have seen this before Brooke Lannister sent it to him, but the wife has LP's back here. Uh, he's been a model of consistency, and uh, I'm sure she knows that as well as anybody. So. Hey, that, 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 that's ride or die right there on Twitter. You can't hey, beat that. You can't beat that at all.